हेलो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मेथड्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ सेट द वेज टू रिप्रेजेंट अ सेट बेसिकली देर आर थ्री वेज टू रिप्रेजेंट अ सेट फर्स्ट वन रोस्टर मेथड और लिस्टिंग मेथड दिस इज द अनदर नेम ऑफ दिस रोस्टर मेथड यू कैन कॉल लिस्टिंग मेथड और रोस्टर मेथड सेकेंड वन सेट बिल्डर नोटेशन और रूल मेथड थर्ड वन डिस्क्रिप्टिव मेथड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ईच ऑफ द मेथड इंडिविजुअली दैट हाउ दीज मेथड्स आर यूज टू रिप्रजेंट अ सेट सो फर्स्ट वन मेथड इज रोस्टर मेथड रोस्टर मेथड और लिस्टिंग मेथड नाउ इन दिस मेथड ऑल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द सेट्स आर लिस्टेड हेर इज द एग्जाम्पल दिस वन यू कैन सी द एग्जाम्पल राइट द सेट ऑफ डेज ऑफ द वीक यूजिंग रोस्टर फॉर्म सो वॉट इन दिस रोस्टर फॉर्म simply the elements are written within curly brackets this one and separated by what comma so what the roster method is simply the listing method means simply the list of elements within curly brackets and separated by commas so this method is what called roster method or listing method and this method is most commonly used to represent a set mostly the uh, method you see is roster method to represent a set now about the second method now this one remember in sets elements cannot be repeated any particular element is written just once here is the example you can see here in this example set b here the number 1 is repeated and number 3 is also repeated so this is wrong this is a rule of set that in the sets elements cannot be repeated and what is this form this form is roster method or listing method so in this method the repetition of elements is not allowed this is the wrong now this one is correct 1 3 9 so whenever you see in a set in a roster form if there is a repetition of elements it means that it is a wrong now the second one method set builder notation or rule method this method is also called rule because it is written just like a rule now in this method we use variables just like x y z any variable a b c d etc and a sentence to describe the set here is the example for example this is the set now this set is written in which form this form roster method this set is written in roster method enclosed within curly brackets and separated by commas now how to write this set in set builder notation this one in set builder rotation it is written as x slash x here you can use any variable x y z but remember if you are using here y then you also have to use here y this is a rule and if you are using variable z then you also have to use here z now you can see now look at the definition use a variable and a sentence now this is a 
sentence you can see that this set is a set of natural number so simply what you have to write just any variable slash this symbol is called such that such that is a natural number this means that in a set all the numbers are natural numbers so this method is roster method and this method is set builder notation here this stands for such that if there is a set of even numbers 2 4 6 8 then what we will write x such that x is a even number means this is a set of even numbers now this one is in the set builder form x such that x is a natural number and x less than 5 so this is the set builder notation and it is also written within brackets curly brackets but here the elements are not listed here is just what it's simple just what you have to write a variable and a sentence now here what it said that the set m is a natural number and x now here x represents all the elements of set m and x less than 5 now it suddenly comes in your mind that what are natural numbers natural numbers start from 1 2 3 and 4 means in this set there are total 4 elements because x less than 5 this one this one is in the roster form but this method set builder method is rarely used mostly in most mathematic equations and uh, examples and operations mostly this method roster form is used because it is easy to understand now you can now you can compare these both x such that x is a natural number and x less than 5 this one 1 2 3 4 and x less than 5 you can also here write that x less than or equal to 4 this one is also correct so what the simple set builder notation a variable and a sentence but you should know that how to represent a single set in different methods now the third one last method descriptive method as from its name descriptive means the set in description in this method of representation of set description of set and its elements is written now you can see this one set this set is in roster form now how to write in descriptive form this one in descriptive form it is this one m is the set of natural numbers and less than 5 so this is just a description of numbers so this description method is somehow similar to that set builder method but just the difference is in set builder method there is variable used but in descriptive method no any variable is used just what to do you have to firstly write the set name if there is no any name then just you have to write set of natural numbers less than 5 or you can say m is the set of natural numbers less than or equal to 4 the alternative one so this descriptive method is much how similar to that set builder method but the method that most common used is this one roster form
because in roster form the elements can be clearly seen that what are the actual elements of a set so these basically are three methods of set descriptive method set builder and roster form and you can clearly see the difference that this one set in roster form written like this in set builder form the same set can be written like this and in descriptive form the same set is written like this however this is that only roster form is used but uh, one should also know the other methods of representation of set because in higher level mostly this one set builder method is used uh, because this, it is also called the rule method now come the second number of elements in a set this is that how to find the number of elements of set as we already discussed previously that what are the elements the elements are the individual objects of set now the number of elements in a set is how many unique elements are part of the set or simply that in a set how many elements are there so this one n of a this is its symbol n of a means number of elements of set a a is the name of set for example here is a set s 1 3 9 you can simply tell that how many number of elements in a set how many elements unique elements 1 2 3 so find n of s it's not have any formula just you have to see that how many elements and write with this notation that n of number of set, name of set equal this just like this number of elements of set s equal 3 1 2 3 so this is just by just by looking at the set you can know that how many elements are in the set and this basically this symbol this symbol is used number of elements in set a and this one number of elements in set s Three. Similarly, this one, this one is the set B. Now you can see that elements, number of elements, what unique. Here is the written unique. Unique means why uh, there is word unique is used because if there is a repetition of set, then repetition because is not allowed. So that repetition is not count. for example here this one this one set here n of b if you write n of b equal to 1 2 3 4 5 then it is wrong because here no unique here one is repeated and three is repeated you have to write n of b equal to 3 because the unique elements not repetition of elements is 3 1 2 3 that's why here the word unique is used hope it will be clear now now you can see that unique elements how much n of p equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so n of p equal to what 7 here you can see that this set is written in a roster form and the elements are separated by commas and these all elements are unique elements means these are not repeated ones that's why the total number of elements in set b equal 
सेवन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इजी कॉन्सेप्ट थैंक यू